From simple to smart, mobile phones have transformed dramatically. But how did they become so advanced? So let us try to understand in this short video by VLSI Academy. In 1973, first ever mobile phone call was made by Dr. Martin Cooper, a Motorola employee in New York, using his DynaTAC phone. That phone actually weighed over a kilogram and took 10 hours to recharge. Few years later, in 1979, Japan launched its first commercially available automated cellular network. It was however only available in cars and can be accessed through towers. We now call this as 1G. In 1981, 1G reached only till western shores in Scandinavia and UK and North America. In 1983, first mobile phone goes on sale in the shape of Motorola DynaTAC 8000X which had an eye-watering cost of $4000. Next year, Michael Harrison made the first ever mobile phone call in the this UK. This phone here actually, if you can see it. Picked it up, nice clear line, made the call, and there was my father, the other end of the phone, picking up the receiver to hear me say, Happy New Year, Dad, it's Mike here. This is the first call ever made on a UK cellular network. And that was the story of midnight on the 31st of December 1984. The, the phone he used then, the Vodafone transportable VT1, was the size of a car battery and nearly as heavy and the mobile phones were primarily envisaged as being car-based tool for traveling sales people. They claimed it as a tra talking revolution. The phone had some of the smartest feature of that time, such as it had buttons which can be pressed when you push them and then it can be used in the night because it had a light backlight in the dark and it had an LCD at that time. In 1991, GSM replaced 1G analog system and Neil Paperworth sent the first ever text message to Vodafone director saying Merry Christmas. The 2G GSM signal boosted the MMS and SMS signals a lot. If you ask someone which is the first ever smartphone made, then most people will say either iPhone or an LG product. But that is not true. To find the reality, we should go back to the early 2000s or even before that when the technology of this was booming. In that era itself, IBM brought out a Simon personal communicator. That was the first ever smartphone made. Interestingly enough, Mitsubishi actually made that phone even though IBM brought it to the market. So what could this phone actually do? Well, in addition to its ability to make and receive phone calls, Simon was able to send and receive faxes, emails and included several other apps such as address book, calendar, appointment scheduler, calculator, world time clock, and a notepad through its touchscreen and stylus. Simon lasted for less than a one year in the market and very soon a slider form factor came in the shape of Nokia 8110. Sliding cover protected the keypad when carried in the pocket and extended downwards in use. The phone was designed for business market and was one of the smallest and lightest phone in the market at that time. The phone was so popular that it featured in the fiction film The Matrix of 1999. Nokia later launched phones year on year with several upgrades. Phone was now not limited only to calling but several even games were available on the phones like iconic snake game was launched on Nokia 6110 which marked the start of mobile gaming. Nokia also launched perhaps the most iconic phone of all time the Nokia 3110 which sold 126 million units. The phone is still available for sale. It was Europe's first camera phone and it was very futuristic in design also. Because of its creative ad, which makes sense even today also, the phone's sales were soaring in the market. In 2004, Motorola launches Razer V3, one of the most popular fashion-oriented phone between 2004 and 2006. It sold over 130 million units and is the best-selling clamshell device of all the time. It had an electroluminescent keypad, which is a totally different implementation compared to other dial pads with backlit feature at that time. It was hypnotic in a way. In 2005, mobile operating system Android was acquired by Mountain View giant Google. As a matter of fact, number of smartphone users in 2007 was little more than 100 million. And this number has grown to a whopping 6.3 billion users in 2021. June 2007 saw the launch of first generation iPhone. 
unveiled by Steve Jobs. He called it a combination of widescreen iPod with touch controls, revolutionary mobile phone and a breakthrough internet communicator, all combined in a one phone called iPhone. It featured a proximity sensor for ease of use, accelerometer for auto-rotation and a capacitive screen that allowed multiple inputs while ignoring minor touches. Needless to say, it was an instant success. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things, a widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. The most popular operating system, Android, which was developed by Google, had a 73% of global market share as of 2021. Google's Android and Apple's iOS have 99% of global mobile market share and it is a duopoly system. Whatever they decide affects billions of users directly. If you find this video informative, then please do like, share and subscribe to the channel and give your important feedback in the comment section. Thank you.